Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another one of my reveals videos and man, just deciding to kick these off, I've, I feel like I've picked the busiest time of year to do it. Um, there are reveals left, right and center at the moment, but uh, this is week four of Bring Home the Bounty, the uh, sort of marketing campaign for Lucasfilm, counting down till basically the Book of Boba Fett at the end of December. So. Yeah, week four, we finally got some it carded images and out of box images of figures that were previously revealed as simple just screenshots from the old Gendy Tartakovsky Clone Wars series. So we're actually getting pictures of the figures now. Uh, these are Walmart exclusives in the US, and at this point, they are already sold out. <laughs> um, who knows where they're going to come out, if at all, in Australia. Although I have it on good authority that Big W is the retailer to keep an eye on down here. So definitely keep an eye out Big W if you're down here in Australia with me. Um, otherwise, all the best of luck and hopefully maybe Walmart will put them back up for pre-order. So let's take a look at these figures and uh, I'll, sh I'll share my thoughts on them. So first off the ranks is Ark Trooper, which is basically intended to be uh, Captain Fordo. Um, yeah, not super stoked on this one. I love, love the idea, what they've done here with the clone trooper itself. Um, but the fact that they've just reused the body sculpt and accessories from uh, Arc Trooper Echo earlier this year, um, they haven't really gone outside the box and done anything drastic to make it even that close to being sort of accurate to Captain Fordo's armor. Um, don't get me wrong, the box looks amazing, looks badass in the box, but... Yeah, I don't know. I, I'd still like to get it. If I can get a hold of it, I will. Um, but yeah, he will be getting some customizing to make it a little bit more accurate to his appearance in the cartoon. And flicking over to the loose image, you basically get a better look at the figure. And uh, yeah, you know, he's still got the backpack, which Echo Sports, um, Fordo doesn't. Um, the sort of ammo pouches on the wrong side of his, uh, what do they call him? Pauldron? shoulder pauldron and uh yeah just the sort of straps on the bottom of the belt um sort of holding the karma yeah they're just meant to be absent um i'm sure there's some other details like the blaster pistols i they're not the same blaster pistols that Ford uses so a few inaccuracies there i still appreciate that they're putting this figure out um but yeah it's it's just super, not super accurate which is a little bit of a down point but again the packaging in these is Freaking awesome, and uh, yeah, nice little harken back to 2003. So swinging over to General Grievous. Now this is probably one of the cooler ones, um, but most likely, most least likely the one I'm gonna get. Um, probably not too interested. It is just a simple repaint of the existing General Grievous with a white cape. Um, not really doing a great deal for me. I like the sort of paint apps, the paint deco it looks kind of cool. They've gone with the you know the color aesthetic of the tv series of the animated style but overall it's just the same general grievous there's nothing really different about him um yeah he's gonna have the same sort of tooling articulation as the regular sort of colored general grievous that we've had in the black series as a deluxe figure already um but yeah this time with sort of just that sort of plain white um yeah, I guess it didn't really need any retooling or anything. It didn't need to be anything super special. So it's it's a fine release. Um, and those, it looked good on the card. Let's just say that. It does look really nice on the card. Um, and as you see here in the loose image, it does look kind of cool. If you really want to go for that sort of um, 2003 Clone Wars aesthetic on a shelf or something with some of the figures they've already put out. Um, yeah, this, this one will be pretty cool. But overall, just not really doing it for me um but does look great in the box and i can see why people would love this figure it's it's not terrible um but yeah not just not for me i don't think it's just not quite hitting it on all levels but yeah let me know what you think down in the comments below so rounding out these figures is mace windu by a badass that he is now i figured this is the version we were going to get i assume we probably would have just got one from the regular clone wars this sort of uh, 3D animated style to sort of go along with the Anakin Nobu one go early in the year, but this is not really that much different to those either. Again, pretty simple repack with some sort of retooling on the figure. Um, it's, you know, we've got a Mace Windu. This just slightly retweaked it um, with the soft goods sort of sitting underneath the uh, 
the sort of chest armor. Hard to see whether he's just got sleeves or Clone Wars sort of tr Clone Trooper arm armor, <laughs> arm armor, and uh, yeah, Clone Trooper belt. So you know, he's, it's, it's looking okay for the most part. I like the picture on the card. Um, yeah, this is probably one I'd love to get. I, I really would. This is probably, you know, out of the three, this would probably be my pick of the bunch, to be honest. And switching over to the loose image, we can kind of see a little bit more. I'm still just looking at the screen now. It looks like he might have the uh, clone trooper armor down on his lower arms. I'm not 100% sure. But I like the white trousers he has underneath. I think it looks good. And the Jedi robe looks kind of cool there underneath the... Uh, I'm just interested to see how they've got it underneath the uh, chest plate and the shoulder armor. So we'll see in due time. Um, again, Walmart exclusives. I didn't check a release date, so yeah, check on the website. Check out StarWars.com for all the details on these reveals and any other reveals that happened this week um, that weren't Hasbro-centric, which is basically what I'm covering here in these videos. Um, yeah, just trying to keep it sort of Star Wars action figure related, because that is what I do here on my, on my channel. So we're just going to stick with it. We're going to roll, roll forward into next week. Um, I think we have another Hasbro Pulse Star Wars thing coming up this weekend, so stay tuned. Bound to be some more reve reveals there. And... Uh, yeah, rest in peace to all our wallets. <laughs> um, thanks for tuning in, guys. Until my next video, may the force be with you always.